welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really quick and easy skip to my loo crochet dishcloth. Why did I call it that? I don't know. I was skipping a lot of stitches while I was making it and that song popped in my head. So I'm going to roll with it. Anyway, hold tight and I'll show you how to make it. All right, friends, so we're going to be making this really easy, lacy, lightweight dishcloth. But you know what? If you don't want to use this for a dishcloth, I like to make my own washcloths. And I use these in the shower or in the bathtub. You know, they're like spa cloths. You know, I prefer these over anything store-bought anyway. So the yarn that I'm using for this is 100% cotton yarn. This is Walmart brand. And I bought four skeins of this. Skeins, the correct way to pronounce it. But anyway, I bought four of these and I'm very happy with it. So far, it works up really smoothly. Um, it might be my favorite cotton yarn so far. Don't know. But anyway, this is a medium four weight cotton yarn. And with this, I'm going to be using, it's upside down, a 4.5 millimeter hook. So I like to use a smaller hook depending on what I'm making. You know, if I'm making stuffed animals, things like this, I like to use a smaller hook. Because as you can see here, how like open and lacy this pattern is. You can use any size hook you want, but I think the best results come from using a 4.5. So we're basically just going to make our slip knot here and let's get our yarn on our hook. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so I can rest my arms on the table. So now you're going to chain in multiples of three plus six, okay? So you're gonna do three, 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 three. Then when it is pretty much as wide as you want it, then chain six, okay? So we are going to be chaining a total of 33. Sorry, my camera cut off. I found that this size gives us a dishcloth roughly nine inches by nine inches. It's a really good size. So let us chain 33. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. Okay, so now we are going to be making a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So here is number one, number two, number three, and number four. You're going to go into that fourth one right there for a double crochet. And you're going to do two more. Okay, so that was a total of three double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. So now we are going to skip two stitches, one, two, and do three more double crochet. One, two, and three. Okay. All right, so skip two more, one, two, and do three double crochet into the next one. One, two, three. Okay, skip two, one, two, and then three double crochet. Okay, so I'm gonna do this all the way down and I will show you what we're gonna do when we get to the very end. Okay, so I have just made my last little cluster here. So now we have two stitches left. You're gonna skip this one and then do one, sing, uh, one double crochet, I'm sorry, one double crochet into that last stitch. All right, so let's lay that down and take a look at what we have. All right, so now let's move on to row number two. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, and flip her around. All right, so now you see here is our cluster of our three double crochets. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be working V stitches into the center stitch of each one of those clusters, okay? So you're going to, you see here's your three stitches, go into that center stitch, you're gonna make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. That is a V stitch. Okay, something in my eye. Now we're gonna skip over these stitches and go straight into that center one of that cluster 
for a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Over here to the center, the middle of those three, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip over these, go to the center one of those three, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Okay, so let me straighten up my yarn and you're gonna do that all the way across. Okay, so we're at our last cluster here. So we're gonna go into that center stitch with our double crochet, chain one, double crochet, okay? Now what we're gonna do, this is the chain three that we made a while ago. So you're going to make a double crochet into the top of that chain three. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna chain three and turn it around. And we're just repeating ourselves at this point. It's really simple. This is only like a two row repeat, okay? So now you see here is your V stitch and you have that chain one space in the center. You're gonna work three double crochet into that space. So one, two, three. Why is my yarn doing this? Cat was playing with it earlier. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna skip over to this next V-stitch and three double crochet into that chain one space. Skip over to your next V-stitch, three double crochet into that chain one space. And you're just going to repeat this all the way across. Okie dokie. So now we're at our last V stitch here. I'm gonna do my three double crochet, two and three. So that this is our chain three from earlier. You're gonna make a double crochet into the top of that chain three. Okay, I'll lay it down and this is what we have so far. I like how lacy it is. All right. So now we're going to chain three. You're always gonna chain three at the beginning of your row, okay? Flip it around. And now what comes after this cluster row? Our V-stitch row. And where are you gonna put them? In the middle of your cluster here. So our cluster is three stitches. So go for that middle one. There's one, two, three. Go for that middle double crochet right there, and you're gonna make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. That's your V-stitch, okay? Do that all the way across. Go for that middle stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Middle stitch, do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And that's all this pattern is. You're just repeating those two rows. So anyway, let's work on this for a minute. Just so that you can, you know, really get into the, the swing of it. This is so easy. I mean, you can sit here and crank these out while you're watching TV, you know. Super easy. Okay, that middle stitch there middle stitch we're going to double crochet chain one double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet okay so we're at our last cluster here into that middle stitch double crochet chain one double crochet and then here is that chain three from earlier you're going to make a double crochet into the top of that chain three. Okay, chain three, two, three. Get some more yarn. Oh lordy, it's trying to get away from me. All right, flip her around. So your V stitches, that's where we make our cluster. Okay, so there's your V stitch right there. You're gonna make three double crochet into that V stitch. So at the beginning of every row, 
you're going to do your chain three, work your way across, double crochet into the top of the chain three at the end. Okay, so we're just making our double crochet clusters in each of our V stitches here. Trying to speed up a little bit. So we got this. All right, now we're going to move on to our next V stitch. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to not cut the film so much. All right, so do our cluster into that V stitch. Our way across and I believe I did 15 rows so I'll count here in a second let's get all the way across I got a piece of moss stuck on it it's like glitter this moss is like glitter it's like once you use it for something it's all over the daggum place okay so we're back to the end and here is our chain three do your double crochet into the top of that chain three. Then chain three, turn around, and now we're back to our V stitches into that center stitch of those three from your cluster. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all the way across. And that's basically all it is. It's just those two rows repeated. So let's take a look, like I said, um, one, where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, I did 15 rows and you wanna end, of course, on one of these rows, one of your cluster rows. That's gonna make it a lot easier to put the border on, okay? So I'm going to work on this and then when I'm done, we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the border. All right, friends, I am done with this. I have made 15 of my rows. You can see I have ended on our little cluster row here. So now we're going to put on our border. And this is really simple. We're just going to do some single crochets. So don't turn your work. Leave it like this. You see the tail is over here to the left. Leave it like this. You're going to chain one. And then right here. See this is the chain three. Make a single crochet into that chain three. Now you see this little stitch here? Make a single crochet into that stitch. Do this here. Go in there for a single crochet. This stitch here, can you see that one right there? Single crochet into that. Right here single crochet into that this stitch here single crochet into that so you're going to understand this a lot better when it's in your hands and you're actually making it but you have these long stitches here these are your chains and all that you're gonna have these long stitches and then in between those long stitches is this little stitch right here so you're going to make a single crochet into the middle of that and then into that stitch. Single crochet into the middle of this long stitch, and then single crochet into that right there. Okay, so we're gonna do this all the way down until you get to your corner. Okay, so we're working our way down here, and this is our last long stitch right here, so we're gonna do a single crochet. All right, so this is your tail, and this is part of your beginning chain. So you're going to go into that stitch there and you're gonna make three single crochets. Those three single crochets help you to turn this corner. And I don't like working over the tails. I like sewing them in later with a needle. So you're gonna do one, and then two, and then three, and that helps you to turn the corner. So now we're gonna work our way all the way across. Now this is actually the bottom, okay? This is where we started our chains. And if you remember, we would skip two and then make a cluster. So let's do that single crochet there. Okay, so you're gonna single crochet into the bottom of that cluster. Remember we skipped two. 
because this can be a little bit difficult to see. You're going to make a single crochet into each one of those two chains that you had skipped and then single crochet into the bottom of that cluster. Single crochet into each of those two chains you had skipped and then single crochet into the bottom of that cluster. Okay, so two and then cluster, two and then the cluster, all right? So work your way all the way across and then when you get to your corner, you're gonna make your three single crochets. Okay, so I just worked my single crochet into the bottom of that last cluster and now this right here, this is a chain three, so you're gonna work a single crochet right into that next stitch and that's where you put your three single crochets, okay? Now you're gonna work your way back up this side just like we did a while ago. Put one stitch into that long stitch and then into that one there, single crochet into the middle of that long stitch, single crochet right here, all the way down. And then when you get up here and you put your single crochet into this last long stitch, put right here, okay, at the top of this, put three single crochets, turn it, and then just single crochet your way all the way back around until we get to this corner and I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, so I have worked my way all the way across our cluster row here and now we are back at this corner. So I've worked my single crochet, you can see one, two, three in each one of those double crochets there. So in that very next stitch, that's technically gonna be the top of a chain three. So we're going to just work into that very next stitch Work your three single crochets, and therefore you just rounded that corner. All right, so now slip stitch into that next stitch, chain one, and now we are going to cut our yarn and work away our ends. Okay, see how chain one, just pull it through. Okay, all right, so there we are. And then here is the blue one with it. Why do I have pliers? I don't know. All right, so now let's zoom out now that I've finished actually stitching here. Now let me get a needle. I had a needle. If I had a needle, here we go. All right, so this is the right side. You just go flip it over to the wrong side and then you're just gonna work away your ends like you would on any other project, okay? So let's see, I'm just gonna run it through some stitches here, up and through and around. I don't like to go completely under your stitches because that's not very secure. Try to go through the stitches. I do that, go over a little bit, okay? Kind of pull that tight. I got it stuck on the corner. Okay. And then go back the other way. And then we'll fasten it off. Okay. Or cut it off. <laughs> We're going to cut it off. We just fasten it off. Okay. All right. If you want it to be extra secure, go back in the other way again. And it, your tail ends ain't going to come out. But anyway, I'll do that to this and it will be done. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time.